Now I want to talk about the wool mills. Again, uh, this is uh, such a great facility. It's been so exciting to be involved with this. Uh, I actually first got somewhat involved, actually, right after I got elected, but hadn't taken office. I uh, got involved with the property owner, and uh, a long story short, we went through a bunch of things, and we looked at all kinds of different buyers for this facility. It was very uh, difficult to see it close because of what it meant to Fairbo. Uh, we went through uh, potential buyers that I just, you know, think back now, thinking, what were we thinking, or what were they thinking? And, uh, and we had Freddie from Philadelphia and Lenny from New Jersey and we had all kinds of different people. And things didn't go well and uh, we thought it was done. We thought, you know, the hopes were up, the equipment was sold, it was going to be done. And then came along Chuck and Paul Moody. And uh, I told uh, someone tonight, I said, I think we hit the lottery when Chuck and Paul came to town. But I also think they found the diamond in the rough because this facility and their employees are, are wonderful. Uh, and I think that first day we met was March 8th, or I came in shortly after we met, and it, it, the facility had been flooded. It was in you know, no power, no electricity, no lights. Uh, the wind was blowing from the east, so it was a little smelly down here. Uh, there was lots of things, and, and to these guys that came in and actually did this, I mean, that was March 8th. Uh, they opened the, the, the factory site September 15th, and we're here today on June 12th or whatever it is. And think of what they've done. They've got a store in the Mall of America. I think they've hit every national network. Well, I think just thanks to everybody showing your wonderful community support. Uh, not only for the mayor's event, but mostly for uh, coming here and getting a chance to see the revitalization of the mill. We're very proud of it. I thank you, Chuck. You know, first of all, like I say, I thought the governor's talk was fabulous. <laughs> Yes. And secondly, Chuck, I still don't know how to run a mill, so. <laughs> but uh, it has been just a, a wonderful, wonderful experience. And as, as Chuck mentioned, you know, meeting John early on, and, and you know, he's just a, a face of this community. Everyone here has been so welcoming uh, to us coming into this town, and the support we've had from early on, people, you know, wanting to just volunteer and come in and help clean up the place to whatever they could do. I mean, we got. Uh, three or four hundred applications for jobs before we even put out an application. You know, we, we didn't. We weren't even looking for people, and we had people coming in wanting applications. And so, um, the people who wanted to be part of this and that are part of it is, is extraordinary. And, and the journey's been uh, just. You know, you, you, we're thinking about what's happened in one year is is remarkable. Mary still comes every day with unbelievable ability and talent. And we've been so fortunate to have so many former employees come back. But to be able to get somebody with 50 years experience is not an easy thing these days. And we have uh, been very, very fortunate. And now she's going to show us, you know, she usually puts things together and now she's going to cut them up. So we're going to see how well she does. But Mary, we just want to thank you for all that you've done for this place. <laughs>